All right, hello everyone. Here in Jackson Heights. Now, why am I venturing out of the district, you may be wondering. Well, because I was here because the Riders Alliance was doing an event. So we're gonna walk away and just get away from the subway train and go somewhere else to get a better point of view. But the Riders Alliance, if you don't know who they are, they're secretly a campaign donor to my Democratic opponent, John Liu. They have been supporting him for many years. When he was in the city council, when he was the controller, and now as the state senator, our current state senator. Well, I'm trying to stop him on November 8th, 2022. So, John secretly supports the Queen's bus redesign. He's hiding it. And this area, Jackson Heights, is going to get heard a lot. You know, you got the Q47, the Q48, the Q49. They're going to get damaged because Senator Liu has his own political interest he has to worry about. Well, I'm from here, okay? I don't know what made John think that his white power background thought that it could be good to help areas like these. You know, you may say that, oh, you only have to focus on your district. Well, no, you know, when you're in Albany, you have more influence and I don't think John understands that he's trying to think that he knows what's best for us. He doesn't know what's best for us. You know, I was just talking to a uh, CUNY reporter just now, and I was telling her, well, you know, we have a, I mean, we could have a great bus system. I mean, I know I was trying to tell her, well, could be great, could be good, but we have to keep it the way it is. If we don't keep it the way it is, we're in a very bad pick. So, the Miners Alliance just doesn't seem to understand this. And I was with um, Charlton D'Souza, the uh, president and COO of Passengers United. Um, hopefully, I'm working to earn their endorsement because I know a lot's on the line right now. And trust me, I'm going to do all I can. I'm going to be very vocal. And I know I'm not in Albany yet, and I, and I understand that for my sake. But we all have to come together because they're gonna start the workshops up again. And, you know, we have to stop this 2019 draft from becoming a reality. Because if it happens, the bus system in Queens will be drastically changed, not for the good, but for the bad. So remember who you're voting for next year. I hope to be on your ballot November 8th, 2022, because a lot's at stake, folks. A lot is at stake.